Hello, discrete math fans. Here's a graph we looked at earlier. Let's talk about the degree of a vertex. It may be useful, again, to have this picture handy. So in this picture, vertex C has degree 2, and the vertex D has degree 3. So it's just a count of how many edges are coming out of each vertex. Uh, what about vertex G? We're going to say that vertex G has degree 0. There are no edges connecting to it. Remember, we had a term for that. It's called isolated. And we'll write DEG and then C in parentheses equals 2. Uh, what should we say about vertex A? We're going to say it has degree 4 because we want to count the loop twice. All right, let's make a definition. Let G be a graph and V be a vertex of G. The degree of V, denoted DEG of V, equals the number of edges that are incident on V with an edge that is a loop counted twice. And then the total degree of a graph is the sum of all the degrees of the vertices. All right, let's make a theorem. This is called the handshake lemma. If G is any graph, then the sum of the degrees of all the vertices of G equals twice the number of edges of G. Specifically, if we can say that if the vertices of G are V1 through Vn, then the total degree of G is equal to degree of V1 plus all the way down to the degree of Vn, and that's going to work out to be two times the number of edges of G. And as a corollary of the handshake lemma, the total degree of a graph is even. We'll prove these later on, but for now we'll just take these as facts. Okay. That's all for now.